I'm Rabbi Yossi Jacobson. My wife and I and our seven children um, live here for 21 years. We came out here to be a resource of Jewish life for, of course, the Jewish community and for the extended community. If you aren't a part of the Jewish community of Des Moines, there's a good chance you may not know much about them. That's why we visited with members of Teferith Israel Synagogue and Maccabees Kosher Deli. My name is Patrick Courtney. Um, I serve several different roles here. Sure, Stephen Edelman Blank, Rabbi of Teferith Israel Synagogue in Des Moines, Iowa. As a group, we wanted to know more about the Jewish culture and religion here in Des Moines, so we visited the synagogue just down the road. Sure. Um, it actually has some, some pretty old roots. Uh, Teferith Israel Synagogue was founded in 1901, um, and there were congregations here that predated it by a couple of decades. Um, I'm not sure if any of the uh, extant congregations now date back that far or not, but uh, it was the late 1800s is when the, the community really started. We have somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 members, which uh, mostly families, some individuals also. Um, the temple, which is uh, part of the reform movement, uh, has a little bit larger membership. Uh, we're part of the conservative movement, which as far as like how closely we adhere to Jewish law, we're kind of like middle of the road. The reform movement's a little more progressive, and then the orthodox movement is a little more traditional, a little more. Um, and there's also an orthodox congregation here that's significantly smaller. Conservative movements, uh, and we have a group that is—it's called Hasidic, um, which uh, means pious, um, sometimes referred to as ultra-orthodox, um, and they have a small community here also. Um, so, so there's a wide range, and we figure that probably less than half the Jews in town are actually affiliated with one of the, the synagogues. So, um, there is a significant population here in Des Moines. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of how many are actually connected to the community. Um, we also have a federation, which is kind of like a pan-Jewish organization. The Jewish federation itself is essentially the, uh, the external hold, force that holds together and works with the synagogues. Each synagogue can, can do as they want. The Federation provides social services for our elderly and young families, uh, provides also for educational experience for our, our teens and earlier youth, and works, as I am, in the field of community relations. I love having people come into the building. That's, that's something we really appreciate. We appreciate when people are interested in you know, having sort of a dialogue, learning more about us. Um, Jewish history is full of uh, instances where people did not know much about us and uh, reacted negatively to us. So there's, there's a long history of, of problems with, with the community outside of, of the Jewish community. So we really appreciate those opportunities. We think more than we speak and we do more than we talk as well. We talk only how we're going to do it. So it's not if, how. In Judaism, this is the world of action. This is the world where we all become players with the Almighty, with God. After getting to know our local Jewish community, we asked them their thoughts on how the Jewish community was portrayed in the media. The Des Moines Register employed a religion editor, mm -hmm. because this is a fairly uh, broad set of uh, reli religious groups in, in Des Moines itself, with mm -hmm. a lot of subsets. Uh, they no longer have that, and so basically they don't pay attention to religion. There's some real positive and there's some real negative. Um, I guess TV is a little weird because it's sort of you can have some very positive portrayals and then and then some negative. Like I don't remember if you remember this might be before your time. Like the nanny character was a real negative uh, stereotype of Jewish women. Uh, I don't know if you're seeing as much of that right now. Um, so I think there's that. I think there's also some myths that, you know, all Jews are smart, all Jews are rich, and they're not. Trust me, I know plenty of Jews that are not smart. Look, somebody just came in here earlier, but the, a Jewish guy who's not even affiliated, who was so hurt, somebody just gave out a book. I should have taken a picture of it. The map of the Middle East, Israel doesn't exist. 
in what period? The left is the, 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 the liberal, there's the conservative. The, you know, there are those who see, there are those who, who don't see. There are those who, who don't want to know. Don't tell me, I don't want to know. So, how are we portrayed? And in Iowa, and there's very little anti Semitism. Not that there isn't. There are those who don't know what a Jew is, so they, so they don't know how to talk to a Jew. But, um, anti Semitism is very high right now. In Crown Heights, the black community have a new game, it's called Blackout. They see a Jew and they surprise, they surprise it by punching them in the face, so you fall over because you're shocked and you're overwhelmed. It's already 12 incidents, so the anti Semitism is on the rise now. In modern America, I feel like. Uh... Jews are, are, we're very fortunate in modern America. I mentioned, you know, some of the past problems. Um, we do not often experience those kind of problems in modern America, not on an institutional basis. Um, sometimes we can on an individual level. Um, I've had some interesting encounters uh, over the years with people who were, uh, didn't understand what being Jewish meant and, and kind of reacted negatively to it. But uh, generally I feel like um, we, most of the media exposure that we get tends to tends toward the positive, um, just because being Jewish has become accepted as you know a valid human condition these days. Though relatively small in population, the Jewish community here in Des Moines is a very traditionally vibrant group with progressive visions. The individuals we reached out to were all very knowledgeable and eager to share their culture and religion with us. Though problems with representation in the media do still exist, modern American culture has become very accepting of the Jewish community, especially in Des Moines.